Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Open Mic Night. It's time once again to shave my head. It's gotten very unruly. And I almost just fell off the roof stepping out here. That shit would have been crazy, dude. Tonight we're going to the Outlaw Cigar Shop to tell jokes. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I look forward to it. I didn't do the open mic yesterday because there were none. So we're getting back after it today. It's going to be awesome. I enjoyed my time off and I'm ready to get back after it. I don't really know how to use clippers. I don't know if you're supposed to go this way or this way, but I just kind of shaved the fuck out of it until it looks pretty even. Boom, guys. Shaved the freaking head nice and clean now. I like cutting my hair. It's like having a little rebirth. Feels good, dude. <laughs> Let's go. I think it's pretty even. I got that LeBron James haircut. Shout out King James. Yo, it feels good to have this new haircut. Mmm. All right, anyways, I've been procrastinating a little bit, but we're gonna sit down and we're gonna write the jokes. So first off, I'd like to call upon the muse. Dear muse, please inspire me with some really good jokes that I can use for the rest of my life. Give me some amazing jokes that I'll be able to use in real shows and I'll be able to take it on the road with me and tell it everywhere I go. Please give me some really good jokes. All right, sweet. We prayed to the muse. Now it's time to light the candle and get to work. Boom, guys, we finished the jokes and we moved upstairs. And first off, I just want to say I uh, finished this book today. It's called The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. Pretty good book. Don't believe everything in here, but there's a lot of good information in here. And shout out to my brother who got this for me for Christmas. Great read. And also, I started this new book today called Mastery. So far, so good. I fuck with it. It's by Robert Greene. I've read one of his previous books before, and they are just too fucking long. They are so long, but you learn a lot. So this one, I'm, I'm excited to read. I already like it more than his last one. But anyways, you guys want to hear the fucking jokes? Hopefully these are better than that dumbass story I wrote on Sunday, right? All right, number one. When you date a girl, you hate all of her ex-boyfriends. You're like, oh, fuck these guys. They got to my girl first. But the minute you break up with her, it switches and you become bros with all of her ex-boyfriends. You're like, oh, you banged that hoe too? Bring it in, brother. Crazy ride. You literally call them brothers. You're like, Eskimo brothers, what's up? Both went fishing in the same hole. We were brothers in arms. We both got PTSD from the same woman. Pussy traumatic stress disorder. All right, number two. My last name is Blank. You can call me Blanket for short. And I think I would make a good blanket. You know, if you filleted my skin off my body and turned it into a blanket, I think I'd keep you warm. But I don't know, maybe that's just my ego talking. You could wear, my, you could wear me like a Snuggie, use my arms as sleeves. All right, number three. I always thought Snuggies were cool growing up. Like a blanket with sleeves? Don't have to take the blanket off to reach the remote? Wow, what's next? A couch with a built-in catheter so you don't have to... Pause your show to go pee. I'd call it the pee pee couch. A knife with a built in shovel so you can kill somebody and dispose of the body with one tool. I don't have a name for that one yet. All right, number three. Yeah, last name blank. I'm going to name my kid Philip Indiana blank. For short, it'll be Phil Indy blank. I hate that joke. It's not even true. I'm not going to name my kid Phil. He doesn't deserve that. You know, there's a song where a guy names his boy Sue, and so the kid gets bullied growing up for having a girl's name, and it makes him become a really tough guy. His father gave him a bad name on purpose to make him tough. That's why I'm going to name my kid Stupid Fucking Bitch Adolf Hitler Pussy. The kid will probably grow up to be a saint. Saint Stupid Fucking Bitch Adolf Hitler Pussy. The patron saint of love. All right, number five. 
I'm never having kids. I'm actually working on an invention right now. It's kind of like the Snuggie. It's a blanket with a built-in condom. So you don't, have, you don't even have to take off your blanket to fuck. It's gonna be made out of human skin. Okay, those are my jokes, and uh, I think there's a couple of good ones in there. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to structure it. I don't know if that's the order I'll keep them in, but it'll be a good night. I look forward to it. I'll see you fuckers there. Peace. All right, guys, we are on the way to Outlaw Cigar Open Mic. I'm feeling a little bit anxious. I don't know why. Maybe it's the cold air. I don't know, but we're fucking doing it. We're, we're going. We on the way to the open mic. My grandma came over for dinner, but I had to leave before we could eat. Because I got priorities. I got jokes to tell. It's 6.20 p.m. right now. Open mic starts at 7. Sign up at 6.30. So, making pretty good time. Boom, guys. We made it to Outlaw Cigar, a.k.a exactly where we're supposed to be. Yeah, so Outlaw's on Tuesday this week because there's an event here on Thursday, so we got pushed to Tuesday, but it'll be on Thursday again moving forward. Hmm, I can smell the cigar. What's up? All right. Guys, I just got here. Nobody's so, here. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Except for Yankee because he runs the mic. Of course, dude, this guy never misses. Never miss. Let's go. Unless his dog is dying, dude. True that, I will take a week off for that. Yeah, I, I didn't have to bring that up, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, bet. Yo, me and Yankee about to put on a two-man show out here. You already know. You already know. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. There's six people in the audience. Let's make him bust out laughing, bro. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we can't get the microphone working. And if we don't get it working soon, everybody's going to leave. So, dire circumstances. Nope, still doesn't work. Damn it. He's also your closer for the evening. Please put those hands together for the very funny, the one and only, the great and powerful, it's Michael Blay! Alright guys, I did the set, and in short, it was trash. I don't know what happened, dude. I just like, could not talk, I don't know. There were only four audience members, maybe five. Me and Andrew Yonke, we each did our sets. He went first, I went second. The audience members were really polite. They pretty much chuckled at everything, but they were just being nice. Yeah, I did the part about where I said I would make a good blanket if you filleted my skin. Uh, my name is Michael Blank. That's right, my last name is Blank, like a blank piece of paper. You can call me Blanket as a nickname. Yeah, I feel like I can make a pretty good blanket. You know, if you like filleted off all my skin and used me that way, I think I could get it done. Maybe that's just my ego talking, but you could use me like a Snuggie, like my sleeves, like my arms could be sleeves or whatever. And then I said the part about the boy named Sue, but I kind of did the delivery really bad. I do think the boy named Sue, the boy named Sue joke could do better if I just delivered it right. So you guys know that song, like, a boy named Sue? Yeah, the guy names his kid Sue, and it makes him tougher growing up, because he gave him a girl's name. It's like, actually, like, a nice thing to do, like a good father. That's why, if I ever have a kid, I'm gonna name it Stupid Fucking Bitch Pussy Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah, dude, I feel like that would grow up to be a really good guy, because he's got such a bad name. That guy would be like a saint. Saint, stupid fucking bitch, pussy Adolf. <laughs> Patron saint of love. And then I told the part about how I'm trying to invent a blanket with a built-in condom called the cummy. I've actually been working on an invention. It's like, it's a blanket with a built-in condom, kind of like a Snuggie. It's called a cummy. Yeah. And I also talked about the rest of my Snuggie bit about all the different things you could make. Yeah, dude, they got sleeves in the blanket so you like, can grab the remote without taking your blanket off. It's a cool idea, like what's next? We're gonna have a couch with a catheter in it? You can go to the bathroom without missing the show. We're gonna get a knife with a shovel attached to it 
you can kill someone and dispose of the body without needing another tool, right? I can do these all day. You got a remote with a fork on it. You can eat while changing the channel. But yeah, it was pretty bad. I did tell the part about being a pussy connoisseur just because I had like pretty much unlimited time. I haven't, I haven't banged that many pussies. I don't know. What about you guys? Yeah. Okay, this, how many? How many? Too many to count? Respect, respect. <laughs> I probably banged like nine, ten pussies. Most of them were white, one of them was Mexican. Not that race matters, I don't think it's like food, like, oh, Italian food's my favorite. You know? <laughs> Italian pussy's my favorite. No, it's different, I think. I, th I do think it'd be cool to be like a pussy connoisseur, though. <laughs> like a pussy sommelier or whatever. You'd be like, okay, let's open this up, let it breathe. Hmm. <laughs> getting, some, uh, getting some notes. Are you from Italy? Did you grow up in Italy? Hmm. We have a very dry pussy tonight. I would, I would pair it with some lube. And they liked that part the best. And after the show, they were like, oh, I liked the pussy connoisseur bit. So that joke worked the best. That's pretty much it. Tomorrow night, we're going to the Rhino Open Mic. It's in North Kansas City. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll see you fuckers there. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Peace.